Hey guys and welcome to another long-term usage review on these Oceaniva Deep Marine Explorer dive watches. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best dive watches under a thousand dollars. You can normally get these anywhere from kind of 350 to 550, depending on the colorway that you're choosing. This particular one that I'm going to show you is my personal keeper, which is the black mother of pearl dial. Uh, model. There's also a Batman variant in the kit here that I'm going to show you and um, show you everything you get with these watches. I'll just talk a little bit about my experience with them. I've probably owned uh, six or seven of these particular watches over the last nine, ten months. Um, all sorts of different finishes from the Mother of Pearl, the White Mother of Pearl, the Batman, uh, the Blue Mother of Pearl and the Coke bezel as well. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the specifications, what I like and a couple of the things I dislike about uh, the watches um, and just kind of real life usage experience. So um, first of all, this is the Black Mother of Pearl. Uh, it's on an aftermarket strap here. I just quite like the, the leather with the stitching on this particular one. Uh, you'll see shortly why this is my favorite one. Uh, as it sits here, it just looks like a pretty straight up kind of black, black on black kind of dial. Um, but you'll see there as the light hits it, you get that beautiful Mother of Pearl. It's like looking at, at an ocean. Uh, on the watch dial, it's absolutely gorgeous just when the, the light uh, glances over it on certain angles. Um, so that is my favorite dial, you know, straight out of the gate. Uh, I love this particular finish and colorway um, just because it has that variance depending on how the light's hitting it and so on. Uh, overall, the specs are very high quality, what you would expect out of a retail price, you know, $1,200 watch. Of course, you don't want to pay anywhere near that. Um, but that's kind of neither here nor there. Um, so first of all, we have the bezel. One of my favorite parts of these watches, this beautiful ceramic bezel, absolutely like high gloss, beautiful sheen, uh, very scratch resistant, which has been uh, helpful. Um, but just like a lovely, lovely shiny ceramic bezel. Uh, one of my favorites actually out of all the watches I own. Uh, the dial we've discussed, Black Mother of Pearl. So you get that blue and green kind of ocean effect rippling through it. Uh, the dial markers, of course, homage type of watch, you know, the, the circular um, 5, 10, uh, 20, 25 markers and so on. The kind of cathedral glass um, hand kit as well. The nice thin second hand sweeping around there. This particular uh, Oceaniva, well, actually all the Oceanivas carry the uh, Salida SW200-1 movement um really nice smooth workhorse movement uh decent kind of 38 hour uh, power reserve um just very you know high quality 28,800 beats per hour what you would expect out of a sub one thousand dollar watch um so that is kind of the internals uh, we have this beautiful sapphire crystal as well just slightly and subtly domed and uh, you can see there anti-reflective coating so you get on the uh on the black dials especially, which I'll show you in a second on the, the Batman variant, you do get this beautiful inky black dial. Um, I think that's helped a little bit by the anti-reflective coating. You don't see any of the, the texture really on the dial. Uh, again, the bezel, one of my favorite things about it. It's a 42 mil case. So this is absolutely perfect for me. 42 mil case, 49.5 mil lug to lug and 22 mil uh, for the band itself. So just about perfect. I'll do a quick wrist check for you. So yeah, just about perfect for my six and a bit inch wrist. The, the lugs at 49 and a half don't overhang at any stage, which is great. Uh, it's one of the problems I find with larger watches is um, or even just longer lugged watches is they kind of overhang on either side, makes them look too big. And um, this is just perfect for me, 42, um, 14, I think it's 14.5 or 14.9 mil thick. Um, not obnoxious or anything, or it just certainly doesn't feel chunky. Um, I think it's it's the perfect size and proportion for my wrist, um, probably at the upper end of where I would normally go. Um, but it's 
it's just a really well designed and thought out watch in terms of the size and proportions. Uh, the materials as well, 316L stainless steel, as you would expect out of something like this. This particular one is very finely brushed. You'll see um, along the body there, uh, the case, it's very finely brushed. It's almost like a satin effect, um, which I actually really like. And if you happen to go back and watch my initial review of the Coke bezel variant, you'll see all the stuff that I talked about with that, with the brushing of the stainless steel, uh, the band and so on. And uh, it's certainly something I like. The one thing on the note of the Coke bezel to point out is that if you're considering buying one of these, I personally wouldn't go back to the Coke. Now, I like the color combination. I like the black and red. And it's certainly, everything else is identical to the rest of the Ocean Eva range. Uh, it's it's literally a single watch, you know, same, same movement across the range and mainly the same bezel and everything else is identical. The difference is that all the other models, the, the other colorways like this uh, and the Batman and so on that I'm going to show you, they all have this beautiful ceramic bezel. I assume through manufacturing restrictions and so on, the red is difficult or not cost effective to produce. So what they've done with the Coke bezel variant is it's an aluminium bezel, um, which kind of ruins, not ruins, but it takes away from the overall impact I find with this particular watch. Um, so there is just a little kind of thing to watch out for. A lot of people don't realize that when they're getting uh, these watches that the, the Coke is the only one in the range with an aluminium bezel. So that's the, the Black Mother of Pearl. I'll show you now what comes in the kit. Um, now, if you've had an Aquacy 1769, for instance, this kit is gonna look very, very familiar. This is from the Aquacy brand. Uh, Oceaniva is a uh, kind of sub-brand of that overall brand. Um, and everything in this kit is identical to the Aquacy's. Now, I will say this, the Oceaniva watches are to me quite a significant step up from the Aquacy 1769s. The dial is nicer, it's not as textured. The bezel is probably slightly better in the Oceanivas. We have the Salida SW200-1 movement, so we've got a really high beat, nice movement there, uh, whereas there's a Miota in the Aquacies. Form factor's different, aesthetically similar looking watches, but the form factor is definitely uh, quite a bit different. The Aquacies wear a lot smaller uh, for sure at 41 mil. So anyway, that out of the way, the kit is the same. We have this nice hard case divers kit. Uh, comes laid out exactly like this. So we have the Oceaniva polishing cloth here. We've got the warranty card here, this date and so on. We have an extra half link. Now the original batches of these did not ship with a half link. Uh, and there are no micro adjustments on the bracelet itself, which is I'll get to in a moment. There's a couple of complaints I have uh, with the actual stainless steel bracelet on this thing. Um, but the good thing is that they did offer this micro adjustment style half link for those who were finding that the bracelet was not working for them. Uh, so that was a good move on their part. Uh, we also have a, a, a band removal and fitting kit. So we've got this double-ended um, tool and then all the different heads for removing the spring bars and uh, pushing through the links and refitting uh, different bands onto the watch itself. Uh, we also then have a silicone band, which is all right. It's not anything special, what you would imagine. Very, very plain silicone, nice soft. Does have the uh, kind of debossed uh, Trident logo from the Ocean Eva brand there. And also on the clasp, we've got quite a heavy duty sort of clasp. Weirdly kind of matches the aftermarket that I bought, um, but it has the Ocean Eva brand there. High polish uh, buckle on it, which I think is probably a bad move, but um, it's perfectly appropriate uh, and it works fine and it's comfortable and all that kind of stuff. Now to the watch itself. So this is how they all come. Uh, albeit I've removed the, the front and back uh, film over the dial and the case back. Um, so this particular one, of course, is the Batman. So another of my favorites, beautiful, um, shiny ceramic bezel there is just kind of the, the main thing that draws your eye to it. Uh, we have, as with the other one, we've got the helium escape valve uh, mention up here, which is on the side of the case. Down below, we have limited edition here. Now, each of the colorways is limited in a certain degree, but it's only to a thousand units. Um, so it's not massively rare or anything like that. Uh, on the case back then, if you can see, uh, it just has information about the movement, um, the 
Water resistance is, is heavy duty. It's a thousand meters. Um, I don't dive anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but a thousand meter um, water resistance sapphire crystal. This particular one is number 75 out of a thousand in the Batman colorway. You also see that little anti-reflective kind of blue come into play with the light glinting off it there. Another little nice touch on the Ocean Evas is that, that uh, domed crystal, which just um, glints in the in the light. Um, very, very nice, big fan of it. On the dial then, we've got the Ocean Eva brand, the Trident logo, I'm a big fan of, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, Deep Marine Explorer, in below then we've got Professional, Swiss Movement, Automatic, 1000 meter information on there. Of course, being the Salida, it's got the date uh, as well. And then on to the band, okay? So the band is the only thing, and it's a it's a good band, it's, but it's the only thing that I have a couple of minor quibbles about. So the first thing is it's absolutely massive, right? So there were a lot of complaints with people originally who there's no micro adjustments, the links are quite large. So what was happening was they were either way too big or way too small, uh, depending on how many links you removed. Uh, so they did attend to that and they brought out the uh, half link that comes in the kit now. Um, so that's great, but it's still way too big. So on my wrist, I find I have to take out all the links to get it to fit. Now it is a perfect fit, uh, six and a little bit uh, inch wrist for me, um, but I have heard of people who, even with all those links out, it's still too large and it's, it's floating about. So really they do need to, to attend to that, maybe add, um, another removable link or something just to, to kind of cater to those with much smaller wrists. But the band itself is huge. Most people have to remove a number of links. I think I had to remove like seven, um, which is basically, yeah, seven or eight, which is all of them. Um, so that's one complaint I have. The second one I have is, and in the knowledge that this is the Aquacy brand, the second complaint I have is that these are push pin links. Now that's not a deal breaker. You know, most watches come with push pin links, but at this level, you know, kind of retail 1200, you're probably going to buy the watch at 500 maybe for something like this. I really think it should have screw in uh, links. The Aquacy's, which are the same brand, do have screw in links. So that's something that's a little bit confusing to me because to me the screw in is a little bit higher quality. Having said that, I mean you get tags with uh, with push pins and Christopher Wards with push pins. It's not the end of the world. Just a little thing I think they should have done. Um, the clasp then is is excellent. You've got this lovely tiled effect with the uh, embossed trident on there. Very very easy to use. Very good quality. Nice smooth movement there. Very easy to open. Easy to clip down. The band also is then a uh, two-tone two style finish. We've got the brushed on the outside and the polished on the inside. Uh, I like it. Um, the band itself is good quality, it's heavy duty. Um, but with those little complaints, the push pins, the size of the band, um, it's, it's one that I would certainly wear and have worn on my other models. Uh, in fact, the last Batman, I just, I kept the, um, the stainless steel on and then kind of wore you know, intermittently between the leather and the stainless steel. So uh, it's not a massive complaint. I just feel that whereas the rest of the watch, the ceramic bezel and the sapphire and the dial and the build quality is like a nine out of 10, the band itself is probably a seven, seven and a half out of 10. Very, very good, but just, you know, I feel there are improvements to be made there. So overall, very, very happy with this brand. I love the watches. Bear in mind, it's only a single watch in different colorways but good heavy duty uh, build quality, fine materials with the ceramic and the sapphire crystal and the very finely brushed stainless steel. Uh, I love the look of these things on your wrist, not you know too long in the lug department, which is uh, exactly as I like it. Um, and just a beautiful, beautiful watch, no complaints really. The only thing I did notice, actually only on this particular one, the black mother of pearl, was that when I first got it, it would intermittently just stop um, even on my wrist, uh, the first kind of day or so that I had it. So I contacted support, uh, they got right back to me and said, look, really what you need to be doing is winding uh, maybe even 60 times when you're setting. So what you do there is if this ever happens to you, uh, is you get the crown out and you'll feel as it pops out, there's a little bit of friction on the clockwise turn. So you literally wind that about 60 times and that kind of gives it the power reserve to kick in. Um, and after I did that, I found that I have no further problems. I just kind of wind it a little bit every time uh, I need to, and it works really well. So that's just one solution. The other thing I have heard, a couple of people have uh, noted that they're, they experienced the same thing, the watch stopping. 
Um, and when they opened the case back, or had their jeweler open the case back, they noticed that uh, the rotor, I think, was a little bit dislodged or one of the gaskets had been in the way or something like that. Um, so that's something to bear in mind if it does happen to you. Uh, on the note of the case back then, we have a pretty simple, plain case back. We've got the Oceaniva brand there, a bit more information. And then, like I say, around the outside um, is just the information on, like, you know, 26 joules, 1,000 meters. Uh, discussed it a little bit earlier, but uh, there's a kind of proper view of it. Um, very nice case back, no real complaints. I'm sure a lot of people would like a, an open case back. Um, I do prefer them in general, but not a big deal on this one. Um, so yeah, overall, love the brand, big fan of it. Uh, they are talking about not doing uh, another watch with the Salida just because of the expense of it now. So that's a bit disappointing, but uh, I find that, I mean, these, these are beautiful watches, high quality materials. I love having them on my wrist uh, and they do get noticed a lot. Actually, people uh, tend to to uh, point them out to me and ask questions about them. So that's that's kind of cool as well. So it is very high quality. I recommend you try it out. Um, just highly recommend the watch itself. I've had so many of these over the last nine, 10 months, and uh, there's really always been one in my rotation. Um, and certainly you should be paying you know, anywhere from kind of 350 to 550, depending on the colorway. Um, and even at 550, 600, 650, I certainly would not be disappointed with this watch. It's Really, really top notch and uh, highly recommended. Of course, I have no affiliation with Ocean Hava, but I just am a big fan of these watches. So, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for me and hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't already. And uh, ask any questions in the comments below. Share out the video for me, would appreciate it. And uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram for more um, watch photos and stuff. It's at my watch obsession. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Appreciate your time. Take it easy. Have a great day.